Efforts to get Americans out of their cars and into public transportation or walking or bicycling is useful and well-intended and has many benefits. It's still very likely that for most of us, most of our transportation will involve driving our own automobile. And so with that in mind, it's very important that the fuel economy of automobiles be improved so that there is less gasoline consumed and other uh, petroleum-based fuels, and also there's less air pollution and less CO2 emitted into the atmosphere. Current fuel economy for cars is about 24 miles per gallon, and light trucks is about 17 miles per gallon. And light trucks would include SUVs and other uh, and other bigger than uh, passenger car vehicles that uh, many of us use. And the combined uh, passenger mile, uh, fuel economy is about 23 miles per gallon. Uh, so that's where we are right now. If we look at the cars that are on the road, that's about what we have right now. CAFE standards stand for Corporate Average Fuel Economy. And the CAFE standards for new cars and light trucks in the United States is 30.1 miles per gallon for cars and about and 24.2 miles per gallon for uh, trucks. As you can see, we're not very close to these standards, and there's two reasons for this. One is that these are the standards for new cars and trucks, and there are many older vehicles on the road. Uh, the lifetime of a vehicle on the road now is about 11 years, 10 or 11 years. Uh, the other is that the CAFE standards are a different standard than currently used by the EPA and tend to overestimate uh, the fuel economy of cars and trucks. The relationship between the CAFE standard and the current EPA standard is somewhat complex. Basically, the CAFE standard uses an older, less accurate method to estimate the uh, fuel economy of vehicles. And also, the CAFE standard it bases their uh, estimates on the size of vehicles. So a smaller vehicle would have a different uh, mandatory standard than a bigger vehicle. When uh, a fleet average doesn't match the CAFE standard, that's been prescribed for that particular uh, set of vehicles, uh, then they have to pay a fine uh, to the EPA. And uh, the manufacturers, auto manufacturers, would like to avoid paying those fines. So it pushes the manufacturers to meet the CAFE standards. The Obama administration has set the 2025 CAFE standard quite high. So for cars, it would be 56 miles per gallon. For light trucks, it would be 40.3 miles per gallon. And for the combined average, it would be something like 49.6 uh, miles per gallon. So this is a, uh, a, a, a high standard. Uh, certainly by 2025, because of the existence of these standards and compliance of uh, the automobile manufacturers with this standard, uh, there will be a uh, much better fuel economy uh, that we'll see with new vehicles because old vehicles will be on the road. It'll take a while for those old vehicles to be displaced by new, more efficient vehicles. So how will these higher fuel economy standards be achieved in a practical sense? Well, there's basically three ways to do this. You reduce the wind drag on vehicles so there's better mileage uh, on the highway. Uh, you reduce the weight of the vehicle and the engine, and you make more efficient engines and drivetrains. Uh, there is a worry uh, in some quarters that if you make automobiles lighter weight, then they won't do as well in an accident. Uh, there's pretty good evidence that if you use better materials, better steel, better better metals, uh, in vehicles that you can and better design, you can make them much more crash worthy. So this this uh, this connection between weight and uh, and safety uh, doesn't have to hold. The really good news is that part of this 
movement to a uh, higher fuel economy is already happening with hybrid electric vehicles. Hybrid electric vehicles, uh, which are vehicles which have a gasoline engine and an electric motor, uh, and uh, are much more efficient than a conventional uh, gasoline-based engine. So these, these engines, which run totally on gasoline, they don't need to be plugged in, so they're not electric vehicles, they're hybrids, they make use of the electric motor uh, to make this a more efficient vehicle. So the hybrid electric vehicle, even though there's electric in the name, is not an electric vehicle. It's a vehicle that uses an electric engine to make it more efficient, but it's totally a gasoline-propelled vehicle. So the schematic of a hybrid electric vehicle shows that it has a gasoline engine which runs the wheels, uh, so propels the uh, vehicle forward. It also has an electric motor that also can push the uh, vehicle forward, uh, so it can also run the wheels, uh, and has a unit that, that, that combines those two uh, in the drivetrain. Uh, it also has a battery which uh, it isn't the starting battery, but it's a storage battery that stores up charge, which is generated by the generator uh, and basically driven by the, the therefore by the uh, the gasoline engine and stores electricity to run the electric motor. Uh, so this is a, a vehicle with both uh, engine and motor uh, operated, push it forward. The way the HEV achieves higher engine efficiency or higher uh, fuel economy is by having a small efficient gasoline engine so it doesn't need a big engine because it doesn't need the big engine for acceleration as we'll see uh, instead uh, when you when you're ready to accelerate you use the gasoline engine and the electric motor combined that gives you the extra power you need for acceleration uh, you also get some of the energy that you use when you uh, hit the brakes by regenerative braking, it recharges the battery uh, when you're braking. Uh, also, the motor shuts off when your car is stopped in traffic. Uh, the electric motor shuts off. And the electric motor is running the vehicle when you're at low speeds where the uh, gas engine would be least efficient. So the combination of this technology makes this a very fuel-efficient vehicle. There are many HEV models on the road now. One of the earliest was the Toyota Prius, and here we're looking at uh, the Toyota Prius sedan. There are several other models now. Uh, this is a relatively inexpensive, uh, high-technology vehicle, uh, which uh, gets about 48 miles per gallon. Uh, it has a reasonable uh, horsepower. Uh, people who drive these regularly uh, say that they actually get more better than 48 miles per gallon uh, some it depends how you drive and how much you accelerate uh, but uh, this seems to be a very fuel efficient quite popular vehicle and we'll expect to see many other hyperelectric vehicles in the future